Hey guys, thanks again for joining in. I'm Tavis Leaf Clever, and today I'm going to show you how to build the basic armature of the dynamic symmetry grids. Okay, so here we are back in Photoshop and I'm gonna show you how to build the basic armature of the dynamic symmetry grids. And building the grids is all the same in each root rectangle and phi rectangle, but I'm gonna show you a few of these just so you get the hang of it. So let's start with the phi rectangle. And first we're gonna build the two diagonals. The Baroque diagonal runs from the lower left to the upper right, and the sinister diagonal runs from the upper left to the lower right. And all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna name this Baroque, and I'm gonna duplicate that name this sinister. This will save me some time. The way I duplicated that is just Command J and that duplicates the layer. So now I'm gonna push Command T or Control T and then I'm gonna right click and say flip horizontal and that'll give me my sinister diagonal. So now we wanna intersect each of these diagonals at 90 degrees and the way I do that in Photoshop is just I duplicate the square and I'm gonna use this as the 90 degree angle. And what I do is Remember from the last video, I have a couple settings here. My path is a shape, and then the stroke is two pixels. You don't have to have that two pixels. You can have it whatever pixels you want, but I like the uh, finer lines. And then what else did I have? Oh yeah, so I had the snap set on all, snap to all, that'll snap to the guides and things, and then extras on also and that helps me line up the lines. All right, so back to our 90 degree angle. I'm gonna take that, push V for my selection tool, hold shift and slide this over to the corner. Let me turn this other square off. I'm gonna slide this to the corner. I'm gonna come up, push Command T. That'll give us our anchor point and drag the anchor point down here until it snaps onto the corner. And then I'm gonna rotate this. And what we're doing is we're gonna try and parallel the top of this line to this line. And we're gonna hold shift while we drag this corner down and try and get it as close as we can. See how it's a little bit off? I'm looking right here, trying to get this as close as I can. I'm gonna turn it just a little bit more, try and get it parallel, and then I'm gonna stretch it to the actual line, and that looks good enough. So now what we do is use our line tool. You can push U, the letter U for that, and we're gonna drag this line from the corner up along the 90 degree angle and to the other side. And you can see the pink lines showing you how you're right on the line. So then drop it, and we're gonna name this reciprocal diagonal. So this diagonal actually creates the reciprocal of the mother rectangle. So let me turn this 90 degree angle off. So that was the hard part. Now all we gotta do is duplicate this layer, push Command T or Control T, flip it vertically. That gives us from that corner. And we're looking for two diagonals coming from each corner. One, two, one, two. So we need one more on each side. So all I'm gonna do is hold Shift, select both of these layers, push V for our selection tool, and then hold Option or Alt, to duplicate this, but I wanna hold it in the same pathway, so I'm gonna push shift, and that's gonna lock it to the same path, and then undo it. Right here's the polar point, that's where the 90 degree angle is made, that's where the major diagonal and the reciprocal diagonal create an eye and they meet each other. So that's important because we're gonna make our horizontals and verticals go through the eye of the polar point. So we just drag that down. I'm gonna duplicate this by holding option and sliding it over and then push U to use the line tool again. And I'm gonna draw a horizontal line. I'm gonna slide this up to the polar point and you can zoom in if you want. And I can adjust this one just a little bit more to the center and then that one looks good. Actually, this one's off. Let me go slide this over a little bit further. So now we have the verticals going through the polar point, one horizontal going through the polar point and I'm just gonna duplicate this by holding Alt sliding it down and going through the polar point again. So there we go. You can see I'm just a, like one pixel off, but that's okay for this demonstration. All right, so now I'm gonna take all of these horizontals and verticals. I'm gonna push Command G and I'm gonna put horizontals and verticals. And then I'm gonna push V for our selection tool and I'm gonna push three for the opacity and that knocks it back just a little bit so we can see the other diagonals a little bit easier. So that's the basic armature of the phi rectangle and the process is the same for each rectangle. The only one you're gonna be probably confused about is the root phi basic armature and I'll show you that one 
because the reciprocal diagonals overlap each other. And the phi rectangle is special in its own way because it can actually have swirling squares inside of it. Okay, so to show you the root phi basic armature, I'm gonna take the root phi, go to my line tool, draw our diagonal. This is the Baroque diagonal. I'm gonna duplicate that, transform it, flip it vertically or horizontally, doesn't matter. So that's our diagonals. Now to get our 90 degree angle, I'm not gonna use the same one because it's, it's a little bit easier just to use the square again. Duplicate that, drag it over to the corner. Command T, drag the anchor point, turn this, hold shift while you transform it down to the size and then adjust it and fine tune it until you get it. That's meeting that, that's at a 90 degree angle. It's going to the diagonal. So let me draw my reciprocal diagonal. Okay, there's that one. Now I'm gonna move this gauge I made. I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna see how it lines up to the other side. Nudge it into place with my arrow keys and it looks pretty good. Just double checking, making sure I line this up pretty perfect for you guys, just in case you wanna troubleshoot. All right, so I'm gonna duplicate this one and flip it. Then I'm gonna duplicate this one and flip it. Okay, that's our basic armature and I'm gonna add the horizontals and verticals. There we go. And you can see how the verticals line up right through the eye of the polar point right there. And I'm gonna draw the horizontals across, line those up to the polar points. You can nudge it into place a little bit better if you like. And I'm gonna duplicate this one and just drag it down with holding Option and Shift and lock that into place. And then this one, I'm gonna nudge just a little bit more into place. There we go, just a little bit more. And then this one, just a little bit more. And that looks good. So that's the Root 5 basic armature. And the reason I wanted to show you that is because the reciprocal diagonals cross over the center line, unlike some of the other ones. So that should get you started. That's the basic armature and that's dynamic symmetry. Thank you so much for all of the support, you guys. I really appreciate it. And stay tuned because I'm gonna do another one where you build the root rectangles inside of a square. So thank you so much. Take care, guys. Bye.